Good morning. Welcome to Ethics in Medicine. My name is Eric Doak. I'll be your instructor for this class. This is just a very brief introduction video to get our feet wet and introduce ourselves. I am a small town Wisconsin boy. I'm not going to spend too much time on my profile or my background because in Blackboard, which almost all of our homework, all of our tests, all of our assignments, our readings will go through Blackboard. So First class, if, if people, someone doesn't know how to use Blackboard or isn't familiar, I think most of us are, uh, please let me know and I can give a brief primer through it. But in Blackboard, on the left column, you'll see a link for class profile. And One of the first activities I'm going to ask us to do is to go in there and fill out a class profile. I've attached one of myself to give you a brief idea of what I'm looking for. All of the information I'm about to cover in this video is in Blackboard. The syllabus will be there which I'm about to run through real quickly. Uh, the links for the first assignments, the cave allegory, uh, the write-up, those sort of things. So go in there, get familiar, look around a little bit. Uh, we're only going to use a couple of the tabs most of the semester. But in brief, Ethics and Medicine uh, is going to be a heavy philosophy class. Uh, the first couple of weeks, we're not going to get too much into the Ethics and Medicine. We're going to be introducing the moral theories and trying them out and seeing how they work and where they're strong and where they're weak. Uh, before we dive into the ethics and medicine specific portion where we will cover lots of issues related to patient autonomy and medical paternalism and where the conflicts come in, uh, what constitutes informed consent, um, death with dignity, uh, things relating to genetic testing, uh, in vitro fertilization, what constitutes the rights of, ind of individuals versus the rights of the public good, where the public peril begins and the private privilege ends, those sort of issues. Uh, every week, just f for those people who are interested in the grading, every it's based out of 500 points, and these are made up of weekly write-ups, which are credit, no credit, so if you turn them in, you get full credit. Uh, two tests and an exam. The tests and the exam are true-false, multiple choice, with what I call short answer questions, which are really just essay. So for those of you who like very clear-cut right and wrong answers, uh, you have that section. And those of you who like to be able to expound on your ideas, I allow that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. The tests and the exam are take-home, so I let you do them out of class unless there's a hard argue to have them in class, but usually that's not the case. Uh, there will be weekly write readings that first couple weeks, they're not in the book, so for those people who are still getting their book, that's fine, but then we will be doing the book, and I'll be expecting us to bring, come in and be ready to discuss them and uh, ferret out whatever they're talking about. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I'm pretty good about responding within a day or two. If it's very immediate, you can text message me. My phone number is included in the syllabus. We will discuss more of this. If anyone has any questions or if I've missed anything, feel free to ask me when we meet. Otherwise, I look forward to having a great semester and meeting all of you. Take care.